our universe has nine planets and earth is earth is the third planet of all those nine planets right so shall we learn more about our own planet come on let's move on our earth we exist on the earth the earth always moves we think that the sun travels from east to west every day but the sun does not move it remains at one place the earth moves from west to east we move along with the earth but we do not know that it moves therefore it appears that the sun is moving and the earth is stationary isn't it wonderful experience the earth has two motions motion means movement it rotates on its own axis it revolves round the sun the end points of the earth at north and south are called the poles If we draw an imaginary line through the center of the earth connecting the north and south poles it is the axis of the earth when the earth rotates once on its own axis it is called rotation it takes 23 hours 56 minutes and 4 seconds to complete one rotation You know what a top is? Observe when it rotates. It moves round itself. This motion is called rotation. So also our earth rotates round itself. This is called the earth's rotation. While the earth rotates round itself only one half of its face is the sun. that half of the earth receives sunlight then there is light on the earth the people on this side of the earth have day time the sunlight does not fall on the other half of the earth that part becomes dark the people on this side of the earth have night time as the earth rotates always it will have day for some time and night for the rest of the time a night and a day combine to form one full day one complete rotation of the earth makes a day you have just learned that the earth has its own axis this axis is inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degrees hence we do not find day and night of equal duration every day there are differences in the duration of day and night every day now tell me who can revolve or rotate for a long time without a break no one can do it right but isn't it amazing to know that our earth revolves and rotates at the same time Now let us find how it revolves. The revolution. The earth not only rotates around itself but also moves around the sun. This motion of the earth is called the revolution. The time taken for the earth to rotate around the sun once is considered a year. The complete revolution takes a year. The earth completes one revolution in 365 days, 6 hours and 54 seconds. The path in which the earth revolves round the sun is called the earth's orbit. It is elliptical. The axis of the earth is not perpendicular to the plane of its orbit. but it is inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degrees 
Revolution Seasons Seasons are caused because of Earth's inclination. The Eclipses Our Earth is a planet. The Moon is the Earth's satellite. The Earth moves round the Sun. The Moon moves round the Earth. The Sun is self-luminous. But the Earth and the Moon are not self-luminous. They receive light from the Sun. When the Earth and the Moon come in a straight line while revolving in their orbits, eclipses occur. When the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, lunar eclipse occur. When the Moon comes between the Sun and Earth, solar eclipse occurs. The Lunar Eclipse At a given time, only a half of the Earth's surface is always opposite to the Sun and the other half is in darkness. The dark portion is called Umbra and the part that surrounds Umbra is known as Penumbra. Only partially the sun rays traverse through the penumbra. Lunar eclipse occurs whenever moon comes into the umbra. Lunar eclipse takes place only on the full moon day, but not on every full moon day. It is because the earth's orbit and moon's orbit are not one and the same. It is necessary that the sun, the earth and the moon should be in a straight line for the occurrence of lunar eclipse. The solar eclipse When the moon comes in between the sun and the earth, the sun is not visible to us. This is known as the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs on the new moon day only. Like lunar eclipse, solar eclipse also need not necessarily always occur on every new moon day. Look at the figure and you will know how solar eclipse occurs. People try to observe solar eclipse. It harms the eyes. One cannot see the lunar eclipse with naked eyes. If you want to see the solar eclipse, try to see through a smoked glass. That too, for a short duration. You should not see the solar eclipse for long duration of time. Winter is the most pleasant climate in our country. But still, why do you kids love summer? It's our vacation time. Oh yes, shall we learn about various climate zones? Climate zones The climate of a place depends on its rainfall and temperature. Based on this fact, the earth is divided into three zones. They are the tropical zone, the temperate zone and the polar zone. The tropical zone The 23 and a half degree latitude on the globe across the equator to the north and south is called the tropical zone. The rays of the sun fall vertically on this region. Therefore, the temperature is high in this region. Rainfall is also heavy. The temperate zone The 66 and a half degree of north latitude on the earth is known as the Arctic Circle. And the 66 and a half degree south latitude is known as the Antarctic Circle.
the place between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle and the place between the tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle is called the temperate zone temperature rainfall and cold conditions are favorable for livelihood for the people to live in this zone complexion of the people of this zone is fair as the climate is cool one does not get tired the polar zone there are two points at 90 degrees of north and south these points are called north pole and south pole the places between the north pole and the arctic circle and the places between the south pole and the antarctic circle are called polar zone these polar zones are called the frigid zones the water freezes here this region is very cold most of the earth is always covered with ice and it is called tundra tundra means snow desert this region is not suitable for human habitat therefore population is sparse many places are uninhabited never leave that till tomorrow which you can do today so children do not waste your time there is always a time difference at various parts of the world shall we now travel through time hold on tight yes teacher we are ready for it local time the earth rotates round itself it takes 24 hours to complete a single rotation it means the earth cover a distance of 360 degrees of longitude in 24 hours the distance between two longitudes is 1 degree in other words earth takes 4 minutes to cover a distance of 1 degree longitude standard time a standard time is fixed for every country this helps to recognize the time the standard time of a country is fixed as per the longitude that goes through the center of that country the local time of that longitude is considered as the standard time and recognized all over the country greenwich standard time greenwich standard time is followed by all the countries in the world greenwich is located in great britain on the banks of thames river in london greenwich longitude is nothing but the 0 degree longitude the greenwich local time is considered as the standard time of britain indian standard time 82 and a half degrees east longitude passes through middle of our country so the local time on that longitude is considered as the indian standard time 82 and a half degrees east longitude runs very close to kakinada in our state The Indian Standard Time is five and a half hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time.